Hi, <clears throat> right, hold on. I put center, you guys. Hi, everybody. It's Joey, and I'm here to do a um, little mini mall haul. This is a very mini mall haul. It's nothing um, that crazy. Nothing that. Um, <clears throat> It's very small. I got very little things from each store I went to. I'm going to save the Morphe store for last because I got a couple things from the Blue Blood collection from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. It's nothing crazy. I didn't get the palette or anything. <clears throat> I will, however, give you a review on all the Blue Blood stuff I tested out in the Morphe store, though. With the two stuff I got from the collection. Um, <clears throat> but first, I'll do Sephora. And the first thing I got from Sephora is this all-nighter setting spray. I got the big size because I really needed a backup. Like, where is it? Oh, mine's over there. There's this much left in the other side, in, in the one I have. So I had to get a new one. Pronto. So, oh, I love the feel of this. It's, like, so, like, smooth. Oh, so good. I love this. I'm going to make sure if I got the right one. Lightweight, up to 24, long-lasting. Yeah, this is the original one, right? Yeah. And you guys know the bottle. I'm going to open it up. I'll open it up later. But yeah, this is the full size one. Um, I always use setting spray now. I used to never like setting spray. But now, like, <clears throat> I feel like the makeup look isn't complete without a setting spray. The next thing I got is, um, I saw this on the line. I needed a new concealer to, like, bring with me in my purse to, to just cover up my chin and my upper lip area. Because I always, like... When I eat, you know, my makeup around there always gets wiped off. So I need to touch up around my lip and everything. So I got this mini um, Too Faced Concealer Highlight Retouch Full Coverage Weightless Wear Super Coverage Born This Way Concealer. And it's in the say Natural Beige. Now I thought Natural Beige might have been a little too um, light for me. But it's actually perfect. Here's the bottle. It's just the mini one. But I only need the mini one. This is for a lot of different th things. It's for contour, highlight, retouch, and conceal. I'm going to use it for retouch and conceal. Um, so I'll just throw the box out. Because I actually don't need this box. And then this is how it looks. Does it have a smell? Most of their um, products have a smell. This does not. So it's just the mini, the baby travel size. And this should last me a long time though, because I'm only going to use it for my upper lip to touch up during the day. So this is, this should last me a very long time. And I did want to get natural beige. There's another one called Snow, because all the colors in the back right here. And then the first, the first one I think is called Snow, and I was going to get that, but I was like, no, that's way too light. Like, it's only for brightening my eyes. <clears throat> this I didn't want to brighten up my eyes. I wanted to conceal my, you know, around my lip area. So, this is going to be it. <laughs> that's going to be that. So, that's all I got from Sephora. Then I went to Bath & Body Works. I got one thing from Bath & Body Works. I know. Shocker. But I did get this flyer for this new fragrance coming called Gingham. I don't know what the hell Gingham is. But it's coming April 15th. It's the flyer. So, yeah. So, this is a fresh, vibrant, happy smell. It doesn't look appealing to me, but whatever. The one item I got, put that down. The one item I, I was torn between, because the candles were $10 off. I was torn between this and banana bun cake, but I already have banana bun cake, and I like it, and I'm burning it now. But I was like, do I have to get another banana bun cake, or can I get, let me try something new. So I got key lime pie. And this is very out of my comfort zone, very out of the ordinary for me. I don't have really citrusy smells, especially lime smells. So this is actually very outside of my comfort zone. Love the packaging. So this is Keynotes of Zesty Key Lime Graham Cracker Crust Dollop of Meringue. It smells so good though. It literally smells like Fruit Loops. Like it smells like Fruit Loops. And that's what I like about it. You do, take away the Fruit Loop aspect to it, you do get a lot of the lime and like the morale. I just smell like Fruit Loops. Oh my God. I guess Fruit Loops have a lime smell to it. I never knew that. But yeah, this smells like Fruit Loops. I'm actually really happy I got this now. This is really good. Oh my God. I love this one. Holy shit. This is good. 
I guess I do smell a little graham cracker with the key with the lime. You get mostly get lime, ob obviously, but I don't know what morig is. Dollop of morig. Um, this smells really good. I'm so glad I got this one actually. Not that I'm, I, I wanted a backup banana bun cake, but I'm glad I tried something new. Uh, this is really good. Okay, so now let's do the Jeffree Star Cosmetics um, Blue Blood Collection. I got two items. I only got two lip scrubs. Now, before I show you the two lip scrubs, let's talk about the collection. So I walked in. It was yesterday. It was March 29th, the day of the release on the website. I'm wearing blue for the... I'm wearing blue. <laughs> That's why I'm wearing blue today. Um, I have blue eyeshadow on. I have um, a mixed beauty killer expensive with um, poison from Androgyny Palette on my lids. Okay. And my lip is skin tight with the gloss, if you're wondering. Okay, so... I walked in, I did not know that they would have the collection right away because the last few times they launched collections in the Morphe Star of Jeffree Star Cosmetics, it happened maybe a week or two weeks afterwards. So I've never seen a collection launch the day it launches on the website. So I was like really shocked to see this stuff already there. I was like, oh my god, but it was. And the whole, all the employees at Morphe was wearing the palette. All of them were wearing blue eyeshadow, all of them. Um, they all were wearing, you know, had blue eyes. They all looked, it looked very now all of them. I mean, the palette is gorgeous. Now, I just watched some of the shades. They're very smooth, very pigmented, very cream. Just like all his shadows, you know? But listen, like, as I said, like, when you hold it in your hands, it feels so good. It feels like, oh my god, it feels like, like you're holding, like, I don't even know. Like a newborn baby. I don't even know. Like, it's like such a... I don't know. It's like a moment when you hold that palette in your hands. I was like, oh god, I felt so special in that moment. But, um, yeah, it's a really nice palette, but listen, it's nothing that I, I would buy because at the end of the day, there's too many blue shades. As I said, I have enough blue shades in Beauty Killer and Androgyny to overcompensate, because I don't wear blue every day. Um, it's a beautiful palette though, so I have to give it to him. I didn't try the Liquid Frosts, but they were cute. By the way, I went back to the Morphe store today. Everything sold out already. Yeah. The Blue Blooded lip Mini Lip Bundle sold out. And the eyeshadow palettes obviously sold out. There's a couple of lip scrubs left. And there's a couple of um, liquid liquid um, uh, frost. Liquid frost left. But that's it. There's no more mini bundles left. And there's no more eyeshadow palettes left. That's it. They're completely gone. Completely. And I don't know if they ever got, um, I don't think they did, but I don't think they got, like, the accessories and the fashion. I know they didn't get the fashion, but I don't know if they got the accessories either. I was hoping maybe they would get the mirror or the bag, but no, they didn't get any of the accessories. I don't think Morphe gets the accessories. But yeah, the, the collection's doing really good. And I, I know online it's sold out too, so yeah. Okay, so, but here it is. I got the two lip scrubs, and this is what the unicorn comes in. It's just a blue unicorn in. I got two flavors. There's three flavors. The one I did not get was Vanilla Mint. And Vanilla Mint, um, oh, the box. So Vanilla Mint, I always keep like one of the boxes, by the way. So Vanilla Mint was good, but it was more minty than vanilla. I, I know that for sure. I remember it being more minty than vanilla. It was nice, it was just basic. And I'm not into basic, you know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna do like a flavor, you know? But these are the two flavors I got. I got Blue Freezy and I got Blueberry Pie. Now, they both remind me of something. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but I'll tell you. I'll tell you what they remind me of. Let me start with Blue Freezy, because Blue Freezy... Out of, my two, out of the two, Blueberry Pie is probably my favorite. But um, Blue Freezy... Um, here's Blue Freezy. Now, I tried both of them. I smell both of them. I taste both of them. I use both of them on the lips, so... You know. I um, It's blue. Baby blue. And then the Blueberry Pie is like a darker blue color. So yeah, so let me just talk to you about this. First of all, the packaging, okay. You see like the, oh, okay. So you see that the drink, okay, first of all, this reminds me of, you remember Toy Story 1 with, um, when Buzz Lightyear and Woody snuck into Pizza Planet? This looks like the, the, the cup that Woody snuck into Pizza Planet in. Doesn't that look like the cup in Pizza Planet in Toy Story? I swear to God it does. Okay, anyways. So Blue Freezy. I don't know what a blue freezy is supposed to smell or taste like. I, I thought it was like a like blue raspberry or something, but it's not blue raspberry. It's not. It's not blue raspberry. Okay. So, this is going to sound really weird because I do like it. 
And that's why it's going to sound weird what I'm about to tell you because I actually do like it. It smell. I do get the icy type of, I don't even know, sweet beverage undernote to it. But what it really smells like, and I know you guys are going to be like, really, you like that? It really smells like Windex. Yeah, it smells like cleaning products. I know, you guys are like, what the fuck, really? You really like that? Cleaning products? But it does. I mean, it smells like a cleaning product. But then you do get, like, the undertone of, like, that fizzy, icy... It's hard to even explain, but, like, it it smells like a Windex drink. If Windex was a drink... Or if, like, a cleaning product was a drink. Yeah, it smells like a cleaning product. I actually like it, though. It tastes really good. It, you know, all those other scrubs work the same, but it tastes really good. Blueberry pie is my favorite. Uh, Blueberry pie is my favorite, but it is, I still like this. It's weird, but I do like it. Now, I know most people probably won't gravitate towards this one because it does, I mean, it's a cleaning product, but, like, I like it. I don't know why. It's kind of weird, but I do like it. I'm, like, still digging that one. Anyways, and then blueberry pie is my favorite. Now, blueberry pie, it has, like, a picture of a slice of blueberry pie there. So cute. Now, blueberry pie. Oh, yeah. This one's my favorite. Oh, I got lipstick on. Mm. I got lipstick on it. Shit. A little too close for comfort there. I've literally put my face right into it. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. So, this smells... Okay. This doesn't smell um, completely like a blueberry pie. But it does smell like blueberries. What this this smells like, it smells like the maple blueberry pancake um, candle from Bath & Body Works. That's what that smells like. I have it in the back. I don't know if I should get it. Yeah, I'm going to get it. Hold on. I know I'm a mess. Let's get it. See, it's right here. See, I didn't even go out of frame. I don't even think I went out of frame, right? So it's like, like if I knew how to edit, like, I didn't even get out of Okay, well, let me smell this. Yeah. It smells just like it. It's so weird. So the Blueberry Pie Lip Scrub. Yeah. It's just like a lighter toned down version of the candle. But this smells just like this. This, this, this smells just like this. It's just the candle's stronger. The smell of the candle's stronger. But it smells like Blueberry Maple Pancake. So, and Blueberry Maple Pancake smells like the blue um, Tootsie Pop. The blue Tootsie Pop, um, so it smells like the blue Tootsie Pop, too. But it does smell like the Bath & Body Works candle, which I found fascinating. So it's not blueberry pie, but it's still blueberry. I mean, it's blueberry paint, blueberry maple pancakes, it smells like. So, I mean, I guess it is blueberry pie. Yeah. And this tastes so good. I don't know why, but this one tastes better than, I think, any lip scrub. I don't even know. Like, I just, like, all the lip scrubs taste good, but this one, like, I don't know why, but this literally smells... It got, it looks like I'm tasting blueberry candy. Like, I'm, like, put, putting blueberry candy on my freaking... It's so good. I don't even know. I think this is the best tasting lip scrub I ever have in my collection. And they all taste really good, but this one is, like, the best, I think. Honestly, the best. So this is my favorite lip scrub out of the new, um, blue... The Blue Blood collection. And I think it's my favorite lip scrub... Yeah, I think this is my favorite one. Even, like, I liked Eggnog, but I think this is even better than Eggnog from the Holiday Collection. You know what, I think this is my favorite lip scrub since the um, Valentine's Day Love Stick Collection. Because I loved um, Cherry Soda and Chocolate Covered Strawberries. But I think this is my favorite new lip scrub he's made since then. And I do love Blue Freezy too. So yeah, these are the two lip scrubs I got from the Morphe store. So I gave you guys a little in-depth review of um, the Blue Blood Collection. So, okay. So I'm going to go now. Oh my god, I've just been like, it's been non-stop. This one not stop. Really have been. Really have been non friggin' stop, beach. I haven't filmed a video in so long. It is what it is. Okay. Well, I love you guys. I'm gonna go, um... I don't know where the next video I'm gonna film. Um... Because I've been filming videos just spontaneously now. I haven't even been planning the videos. Like, I didn't even know I was gonna film this today. I literally was like, well, I went to a few stores today in the, in the mall, so why not film a little mini mall haul? But, I mean, I, they're all spontaneous. Like, I really don't know what I'm going to film. So, um, yeah. 
I said, I'm trying to think of any other videos like I would film. There's really nothing. Like, I have no ideas. I think the only thing I'm going to film are, like, mukbangs. And I want to film another ASMR because I feel like people have been liking the ASMRs. Like, my ASMR video, like, people have really been liking that, which is weird because I thought it was going to do horrible because I thought I did horrible. But people really like it, so I may do another one of them. Yeah, I actually may do another one of them. And then I'm going to take, I have a fashion show in, in a couple of weeks, so maybe I'll do a story time about my day and my fashion, my first ever fashion show. Maybe I'll do that too. All right, bye. I love you guys. I'm going to go. Okay. So, um, I'll see you guys soon. Okay. Bye.